Hey, greetings everyone. Just picked up these two IBC totes to do uh, some more rain barrel work on the house here. And I thought I'd take a few minutes to give you a detailed overview of these uh, particular storage containers. I know when I was thinking about doing it, there was a little bit of a question about exactly what sort of configuration they came in and what options there were and what to look out for. So hopefully this will help someone else out. These are 275 gallon uh, totes. Basically, that's equivalent to five 55-gallon barrels. I was going to use, originally in my project, four 55-gallon uh, plastic drums set side by side and interconnected with piping, but the more I thought about it, it just sounded like a big hassle, having to run all the pipes to connect them together, making sure all the barrels are level. And uh, Then I saw these on the YouTube and thought this might be a better route to go. They also look a bit, uh, a bit cooler, if you will. These are sized to be the same dimensions as a standard uh, skid, standard pallet. So they're 40 inches by 48 inches across and 45 inches high. If you have an 8-foot bed pickup truck, you should be able to get two in there and get the tailgate up with no problems. I have a 6 and a half foot bed, so it was about 2 inches too long. I had to leave the gate down and strap these to the bed, but they're not very heavy, so it's not really a problem to transport them. These particular ones I picked up for uh, two for $150. I had to run up to Pennsylvania. I'm down in Southern Maryland, so it cost me about $50 in gas, but the only other options were to have some freighted from a company out in Kentucky, and I imagine the freight is not cheap to freight two of these. So this is a pretty good uh, bargain, in my opinion. Basically $100 a piece. I really only need one, but I bought two just because I'm going to go all that distance. Might as well fill the truck up. If I don't use it, I can always sell it to someone else and save them the problems. Okay, let's go ahead and take a closer look at some of the fittings on this. The first thing to note of importance is this plastic is what they consider food grade. And this particular container was used for olive oil. It came from Spain, as you can see by this placard on the front of the container. These are just strapped on with some metal tabs that fold around this caging, so I'd like to take mine off. It just seems like it's one less thing to possibly uh, cut yourself on in the future. As we know, that the containers themselves are plastic, and this is a galvanized cage, which is very strong, very rigid. I've seen these things stack three and four high in some of the photographs. Now we're taking a look at the top of the container just to show you what sort of access you have. This is a six-inch cap just unscrews. Well, I can tell it's what they call a buttress cap or buttress thread. It's a very, very uh, coarse plastic thread. I did a search for IBC tote adapters on the Google, and there's quite a few places that are selling uh, different fittings for this. I've seen uh, basically give you this six-inch cap, and then there will be either a single interface here for a two-inch NPT thread, a female thread. I've seen one where they actually have two two inches. So if you want to come in and inlet on the one side with the two inch and then maybe have a vent on the other side, that's probably the route I'm going to go. Or I've seen a lot of people just put a screen over here, run their rain spout into this directly. The problem with that for me is I want to have a closed system. I want this to be completely airtight and I'll show you why that is in the design as we get on with the project. I went ahead and flipped this thing up on the side just so you can get a look at the bottom. As you can see, the construction is all metal on this particular unit. The black parts are uh, plastic. I've seen a few that have a wood pallet on them. I didn't want to go that route because wood's not very attractive and it's probably going to rot over time. So if you have this sitting up next to your house, you don't want to make it more of an eyesore than, uh, than necessary. All right, I'll flip this thing. Well, a big tree just fell out in the woods. <laughs> made quite the crashing sound. Anyway, a little distraction there. Let's go ahead and take a close-up look of the uh, access to this on the bottom of the valve. Taking a closer look here at the valve connection down at the bottom, I saw this thing on its side. But there is basically a cap that goes on here, and it just unscrews. This particular unit, they had never opened this. They were just apparently taking it from the uh, top with a siphon, perhaps. But there was a seal that you break on this, just like you would have on a 
orange juice container perhaps. And when I took it off there was also a foil seal over the top of here which I had to peel off. You can still see part of it. Still see part of it here. This is what apparently they call a buttress connection. It's got a very uh, very coarse thread. I did some research on the internet and from what I can determine this is a S60X6 two inch buttress connector. So depending on the connector you get you might have a different connector from this altogether. You might want to research that just to see what sort of options you have. Don't assume that all these containers are configured the same because they're not. The same company that made adapters for the top that I was talking about, I found they also have some for here. Here's a whole slew of different options. I'll try to show you the web page a little bit later on. But what I'm going to do is get a connector that screws on here and it's going to have either a male or a female standard 2 inch NPT and from there I'll just hook my standard uh, drain waste vent PVC up to that and away we go. I've seen a few people take a piece of flexible uh, hose or repair kit perhaps and basically straddle this with a clamp and then straddle a piece of PVC. Now, I'm sure that works but I prefer something a little more permanent that's going to give me a little more uh, assurance it's not going to degrade or fall apart over time. Hey, one last thing I forgot to show you here. I forgot this uh, particular unit came with this little this little adapter here, this little spigot if you will. And this will just take the cap off. And screw this baby on. And then this has barbs here. I imagine these attach a hose and probably put some sort of a clamp. So I'm just picking up there is yet another option to get your uh, water out of the container. Hey, here's just one website I found. I'm not affiliated with these people and I've never ordered for them, but uh, just to give you an idea what sort of interface offices are out there for your IBC totes. This particular site is uh, Lexington Container Company, which is uh, just that for the URL, LexingtonContainerCompany.com. All one word, no spaces. So if we scroll on down to the bottom here, we see some of the options they have. This is probably the option I'm going to go with here. This uh, female buttress to two inch male NPT. So basically that cap that goes on the valve at the bottom there, we'll just, this will screw on there. Then I'll have a standard uh, NPT thread. I can use any good old uh, PVC from Lowe's or Home Depot to connect onto there. And as you can see, they have all sorts of other options here. Here's the uh, caps I was talking about. These are the six inch caps that go on the top. Then it'll let you interface to some standard uh, NPT threads once again. Here's one I was looking at. It has two independent uh, adapters. Each one of these is a two inch NPT thread. So basically you unscrew this, put a two inch male in there. And you can bring a two inch in for your supply and then a two inch out for your vent, which is the route I'm going to go. And they even sell the hose bib with a bushing to take you from your two inch down to your three quarter inch hose bib here. But the nice thing here on this website is they show you the different types of IBC valve threads. And you can determine which one you're going to get. Like I said, I believe this is the one I have here, this S60X6 two inch male buttress. And I mainly determined that by looking at these uh, dimensions here. It's about uh, yeah, 2.36 inches. Anyway, hope this helps you out. Like I say, I'm not familiar with these guys. Just uh, search for IBC tote uh, adapter on Google and you'll get a bunch of different sites. So if anybody else has any suggestions, who has the best product, the best price, shipping, that sort of thing, let me know. Post it in the comments. Okay, hope this helps. Cheers.